500 subscribers. What a milestone. Thank you so very, very much. I am delighted. I am honored. I am excited. And I have this little video to kind of help celebrate the occasion because of you. So thank you very, very much. What we're going to do here today is something a little bit different, but it should be super fun. We're going to have someone who is not an audiophile, someone who's not particularly invested in audio and headphones as myself or perhaps even you, and see how someone in just kind of your everyday sort of person, how they react to a bunch of different headphones and see generally if they are able to decipher one type of headphone over another on various prices, various ranges of quality, and who better to be that person to be the guinea pig for this video than no one else other than, of course, my own wife, Lady Marslander. So big round of applause for her, her first time appearing here on the channel, special just for you lot, and this wonderful occasion of 500 subscribers. So again, thank you very, very much. Uh, the mission here, if we are to choose to accept it, is uh, we're going to have her listen to a variety of different headphones, and she's going to choose uh, what she likes about them. She'll say in her own words, she is has she has been in no way pre prepped for this outside of the fact that I told her, hey, I'm going to have you listen to a bunch of headphones, and I want you to just talk about them. So we're going to see which one is the most comfortable, which one is the coolest, and then, of course, which one is her overall favorite. So without further ado, let's see what she has to say. Did you make them all smaller? No. Not too bad. It's a little low. I guess it, it doesn't really matter. So. It adjusts automatically? Yeah, sure. It's like down here on me, but okay. balanced not a lot of it's not it's not as bass heavy as I like this is a very balanced and I feel like it's leaning more on the heavy side or the uh the high side like the vocals are clear but I'm here for the the punch so I'm not hearing up a lot of punch yeah it's just really it's like very I don't know midline I don't know how to put it but not a lot of punch that's my analysis of this one. Ah! It's very clear. Yeah, I mean the bass is good. It just doesn't, I can't explain it. It just doesn't have that punch that I'm looking for. So, not bad. It sounds really, really balanced and, and really nice. And it's not too, I, I like this strap. I'm here for the strap. It is very, these are so big on my ears and that like they're leaning on my jaw, which can give me a headache after a while because I have TMJ issues, with my jaw. So I feel like this clamp, it's not bad. The clamp force is not bad, but I do feel like over time, this might bother me a little bit, but it's very comfortable up here, which I'm also very sensitive to. So, so yeah. How about the cool factor? How do you look? I mean, they look cool. They're a little big. They're a little big on me, but but they look cool. I like them. Okay. Turn it down so I don't blow my earballs out. My earballs? That's not right. My ears. I don't want to blow my ears out. Oh, these are more comfortable. Though this is a little heavy on me, but the ears, the what do you call them? Cups? Ear pads. Ear pads. Ear pads are very comfortable much smaller, not leaning on that jaw for me, that jaw uh, kind of pressure point. But if we had like the the strap from the other one on this, it would be like 10 out of 10. But this this can get a little wearisome on my top of my head after a while, so. There's the punch. That's a good base. Nice. You gotta feel it in your molars. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like these more. I don't think it feels as balanced. It doesn't sound as balanced, but 
the base is really, really sexy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's what I was waiting for. All right, next song. Should just make a playlist, shouldn't I? And a playlist. You're just creeping in the back. You are. <laughs> no, it's just funny. Every time I look back there, you're like, meh. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the higher end is not as crisp as the other one. But I will trade that for the base, personally. Because I'm a pleb. Okay, yeah, the, the base is great on this one. Yeah, it's very, it's all about the base. So I would, these I like more, personally, because I'm all about the base. And they're very comfortable. The, the top strip isn't, or the top whatever, is not bad. I just wish it had the sling because I prefer the sling because I don't like that pressure on the top of my head. But clamp force is good. It's not too tight. I don't know if these are like well worn out or whatever, but not no clamp force problem. Pads are super comfortable and uh, base heavy. So I like these. Cool factor. cool factor. I mean, they're super cool looking. I think the others make me look more like a DJ or something. These are like very artsy. So like they're very you but they're not like i don't think i would like i would probably pick the ones that look more i don't know i don't even know that these are very artsy looking they're very very cool the wood is beautiful the color the caramel color is totally you um so they're cool on you they're very you they're not they're not as much me they come in black as well without the brown what so it's not it's just black it's a dark wood and then black Ooh. leather like that more like that more Maybe. oh these sennheisers yep aha good job i pay attention oh boy oh holy clamp force i yeah, love you did you did i'm sorry i'm sorry You're you right. should be okay now i gotta look cool with my hair there we go yeah, clamp force, bad. Immediately headache. I could not wear these for a long period of time. Pads are not comfortable. Just all around poop for comfort. I don't like it. They look cool though. They look really cool. I like I like this shape, this like oval. Looks really good. But ow. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to wear these for very long. No, thank you. I'm not loving it. I'm not I'm not I'm having to turn it up. I'm not immersed. These are very sub subdued. I feel like there's nothing popping out at me. There's no, like right now it's very bass heavy when I'm listening to Synthwave, but the high notes aren't really popping out. The bass is definitely not doing much for me. The vocals sound good. The vocals are definitely very, very good and very frontline. I don't know the terms, but but it's missing that oomph that I like. So it's not bad that with the vocals, it sounds a lot better with just the music. It wasn't very impressive, but it's okay, but not worth the owie of the, uh, the clamp force here. So I'm going to go to the next one. Not bad. Base is okay, but it doesn't have the oomph that I like. I'm just a pleb. I like the heavier the base, forget about everything else. So it's not the, I'm sure this is very nicely balanced, but this is not. Yeah, like mid, the mid stuff is good. Vocals are good. Presentation altogether is pretty good, but I don't know. It just, it seems very subdued. Punch. What? No, punch. no, it doesn't have a punch. I'll listen, I'll listen to something else because I'm razzing it. My head's already hurting. These are uncomfortable. Okay, so I'll say like the whole package is pretty good. When it's like, it's like just a, a middle situation. Not super high, not super low, but maybe like something in the middle with like a lot of things going on. I guess it, it kind of balances that pretty well. Sounds good. But bass is lacking, especially compared to the other one i feel like it's not as crisp as the first one it has it's a little bit more like just subdued but i think if you listen to like mid 
I don't know what to call it, but like stuff that's not super high, super low, just kind of like middle of the ground, like lots of things happening all at once. If that makes sense, it's probably pretty good, but not for me. And these hurt and I want to take them off. They do look really cool. Cool factor. I will say these are probably the coolest that I've seen. I know that everybody wears these probably because they look cool. I see a lot of people wearing Sennheisers, but like. Yeah, it's cool. But the clamp force for me, particularly with what I don't like, which is pressure on my jaw and pressure on the top of my head. I've got that whole thing. I feel like I have a vice on my head and I would not be able to wear these for more than maybe half an hour. So not not longevity at all for me. Okay. Get them off. Ow. Do you feel that relief immediately? Yeah, I do. You can't see me. It's a little dinosaur. Yikes. Oh, I remember you getting these. These are like, what's happening here? Is this made out of steel? Already, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned with how sturdy they feel. They do not feel malleable. Ah. I'm a bit worried about putting these on my head. And they're also super heavy. They look cool on the inside though. Okay, here we go. Okay, they're not as bad as they seem, but ow up here needs a sling for me. This is fine. Clamp force is not bad. Um, this is a bit much in my opinion. It's a bit much. Like we've gone a little overboard with the branding. It's so. it's a, if this was just like brushed copper or whatever, this is gold and there wasn't all this going on and like all the words around it. And then this, like the, the honeycomb pad. No, there's too much, too much happening. Um, yeah, these are not super comfortable, but the clamp force is a lot better than the other ones. That was pretty good. Good base. Yeah, I like these. Yeah, these sound good. I'm probably a total pleb. <laughs> but no, these sound good. They're just loud. Everything, I can hear everything. It feels like very good. What is it, soundstage for me? I don't know. Yeah, I like it. It's it's loud, everything's in focus, and the bass got, has a punch. I like these. Okay, so I'm assuming these are the cheapest because I think they sound the best so far, just because I'm a pleb. Um, I will say they're hurting up here. This, I do not like this at all. This is bad. I wouldn't be able to wear these. They're not as uncomfortable as the others in terms of clamp force, which is all as the Sennheisers. Not as bad as the Sennheisers in terms of clamp force, but the top here is because these are so heavy. These are like metal. I don't know if the others were heavy too, but these just seem exceptionally heavy and this has no give to it. It's very solid and it is just like, ugh. I feel like I'm wearing like a motorcycle helmet or something on top of my head. It's very uncomfortable, but in terms of the sound, these sound really good to me the pleb um they are just loud i can hear everything i don't i couldn't even say if they're balanced but i just it sounds very similar to what i normally like to listen to in terms of like sound stage like my my um my headphones sound a lot like this where it's just what and what are your headphones the sony what are they the sony what's the wireless the wireless Sony. Nice. Yeah, I listen to those and then I, I use Apple uh, AirPods, this, the, the AirPods Plus or whatever they are, the, the newer, not not the big ones, but the in-ears. So yeah, this just like gives me an all around, like it's loud, it's in my face, I can hear everything. It's, it just sounds meaty and it sounds satisfying. So I, I like, out of all the sounds, Pleb me likes these the most, so. Yeah. Cool factor. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they're very cool looking. They look kind of pedestrian to me and they are uncomfortable. 
So I don't know, maybe that's making me, but I don't, this, there's too much happening here. There's too much of a design going on it. They needed to like kind of maybe back off a little bit. They don't have a look of sophistication to the level that the others do. Too busy. They're too busy. They're too busy. Okay. And they hurt. And they hurt. And they're like, you could hit somebody with that. <laughs> it's a brick. <laughs> it's a weapon. Could be. Gracious. <laughs> <laughs> this is a... Uh... They're very light for how big they are. They seem very plush. They're intense. Oh, can I adjust them? Yeah. I feel like an air traffic control person. I think I'm back. No, I don't. Or Chobits? What's happening here? I don't, Cool Factor is like, no, <laughs> sorry. I I don't know about these. They, um, <laughs> don't laugh. You're making me wear them. Don't laugh at me. I'm the one that owns them. These are loud. I'm having to turn it down. These are the loudest ones. Oh, comfortable up here. Okay. Pretty good base. Pretty good base. I mean, they sound, they sound good. I like how they sound. They're not as just like in your face as some of the others, but they sound good. Did you ask me a question? I can't hear anything. Okay. Yeah. Can't hear you. Yeah. They sound good. Yeah, I think they sound great. They look ridiculous. Ridiculous. I mean, I'm not like maybe on you they would look OK, but for me, it's not. I feel like I'm either a traffic control at an airport or I'm a Chobits. I don't know. One of the two. It's a little weird looking, um, but they sound good. They sound good. I don't. The pads are kind of uncomfortable. They're not as squishy as I thought they were going to be. Uh, they are lightweight, which I like. This, again, just me being me, I, I am not a fan, but it's not as uncomfortable as the other two because these are so lightweight. So I appreciate that. Um, but but it is it is kind of pushing on the top of my head and now I've been wearing these. So I'm like already a little bit sensitive because I've been wearing others, um, but they sound good. I don't know. I don't really have much of a opinion about them. They, the bass sounds great. It's nice and meaty. They're not as like blast in your ears as the other one, the last one I listened to. So they, I'm, I'm assuming that means they're more balanced, but I don't know. They, they just, they're, they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a strong opinion about them. And we already said no on the cool factor, right? I'm afraid not. <laughs> Our little air trap control chobits. <laughs> How many more of these are there? One more. <laughs> these are pretty cool looking. They're pretty comfortable. Yeah, they look cool. Okay. These sound very good. Yeah, they, these sound really, really good. It's not my style, but you can hear everything and it's really balanced. These are the most expensive ones, I'm going to bet. They just. They sound really good. All right. Wow. These are the best ones in awesome. my, they just, I don't have the vocabulary. Like 
they're not my favorites in terms of the sound because I'm here for the heavy, juicy, meaty bass. But in terms of balance and being able to hear everything it, it, in a way that you're supposed to hear it, this one sounds like it's got the most balance and it's not too high, it's not too low, nothing seems to be suffering from, it, it's just incredibly balanced. It sounds like it's like you're in the room listening to it almost, if that makes sense, more than the others have been. So I'm gonna bet that these are the most expensive ones. I know you didn't ask me that yet, but I'm betting it's these, because these seem, especially even with like construction and everything and the sound itself, it's not like making me want to get up and dance. Like it's not hopping like some of the others with the really heavy bass. But if I were going off of wanting to hear something in a more pure form where I feel like I'm really hearing it, I would say these are the top ones. So they sound the most real. Yeah. Yeah. They sound the most real. And they look very cool. They're pretty comfortable. I could definitely wear these longer than any of the others. Mm -hmm. Uh, it doesn't have the sling, but this has like, seems to kind of like, like gradiate out or something. Like it's a little bit more comfortable in my head. The pads are not, pads are a little bit small, but they're good. It's good. They're comfortable. They feel expensive. Mm. Watch, these are the cheapest ones. <laughs> I really don't think they are though. They, they sound, I know you've let me hear some really nice headphones in the past. And this to me is like a step up from the others in terms of quality, at least to my uh, untrained ears. So I, I think that these are probably, if you want a more balanced sound, you'd probably go with these. If you want like a, a thump, you'd probably go with the ones that are the caramel color or the other one that I said had good. Um, the one that, the, the ugly, the ugly one. <laughs> the ugly one. <laughs> The ugly one sounded pretty good. The, the traffic control one sounded pretty, pretty good. Um, the really ugly ones with the too much going on there. Sorry, I don't. Is it bad that I'm calling them <laughs> ugly? Somebody worked on that design, so I give them props. But um, the ones with the big circle, the big don't laugh. The ones with the big <laughs> coppery coins, those sound the most like the headphones I would probably pick. These sound like the ones that you would most probably pick. Yes. All right, here they all are. Here they are in all their glory. Yep. Okay. Based on looks alone, which is your favorite, which is the coolest one? Let's put this in this in here. This one looks. This one I think is the coolest looking. This is second coolest. Third, fourth, fifth, run for the hills. <laughs> yeah, this one is real weird. Oh, you know what? No, I'll, I'll switch it. I think this one is probably the least cool because it looks the most... Like it's trying too hard? Yeah. I was going to say pedestrian, but that seems <laughs> really mean. <laughs> okay, which was the most comfortable? Probably these because of the really thick pads. Okay. If you combine this one and this one with the head sling, it would be perfection. Right. These are probably the second co most comfortable. Okay. And maybe these guys are third, but I didn't like that top part. All right. Overall, which one was your favorite? This, no. Uh, ooh, ooh, this is hard. I'm trying to answer the way I think you would no, want I'm me to answer. answer the way you no, would because answer. I'm I'm just a, a civilian. I'm, civilian. I'm a civilian. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I probably would say. If money wasn't a factor and you had to buy one of these, which one would you buy? Probably these, but I know the better answer is these. Don't work with the better answer is you don't know. The, this one for the base. This one for the base. For the base? Okay. okay. Which do you think is the most expensive? This one. You're correct. Yeah, I knew it! <laughs> Which you think is the second most expensive? Either the ugly one or this one. I'm sorry, hi Feynman. Now I feel bad. They're not ugly. They're real special. Like, oh, no. They probably look good on, on guys with really big heads, but they don't look good <laughs> on me. Um, I would say either these or these. Maybe these. Maybe these. Shit. I don't know. You got a big one. Oh, I swore. I'm sorry. Don't put that in. 
know. I'm going to say either that one or that one. These are a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. I mean, they sound they sounded really good. They, they, yeah, they, they, you said that was the most like your two <laughs> Sony's. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna get canceled. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm uncultured. No, no, no. All right, which one do you think is the cheapest? Now I have no idea. I was going to guess these. <laughs> um. Hmm? These. Mm -hmm. Okay. These being a close second. These are so, 150. So my favorite ones were the... They weren't the cheapest. But they were very affordable. But see, my my actual answer was these. I want you're, the expensive one. Oh, okay. No, but look, these do sound the best. They sound the best to me. Mm -hmm. But it's not how you. It's not the sound that you prefer. If I had to, if you were asking me which ones sound the best, I would take these bar none because they are very clear. I feel like I was listening to stuff while you were doing your thing, and I could hear stuff in the songs that I don't normally hear. Like, just uh -huh. like little little elements. Is this Out the pair that I listened to that made me cry that one time? Well, they, they were very good. And so out of all the ones, I can say that there's a definite jump. These definitely sound the best to me. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I'm I'm a, uncultured. So I, I like, <laughs> I am, it's okay. This is not my, this is not my vibe. So I, it's okay that I'm uncultured, but the, Ones with the heavy bass are really where what I prefer. I don't do long marathon listening anyway, though. <laughs> Hello. I feel like we're on a podcast. Yeah, no, I, I definitely think that these are the best. Okay. But um, I, as a non... <laughs> Hi. Hi. As a non-audiophile, I would say I, I, I probably wouldn't pick these just because I know they're really expensive and I don't need them. So I don't know. Well, again, it's if money was the factor, if money wasn't a factor, I would get them because they sound great. They sound very clear. Even they, though they don't have as much bass as you like. It depends on what I'm listening to, though. If I'm listening yes. to stuff that doesn't have heavy bass, that is more if I if I'm just like listening to, to other music then um, or different types of songs, if I'm not here for like synthwave or edm or something then yes i would absolutely pick these if i was listening to like i don't know opera or something i don't know whatever else i was listening to random stuff but yes these i would pick because i can even with my limited knowledge i could tell that these have a step up from the others all right um but Very yeah cool. i listen to a lot of synthwave though so you do listen to i'm just gonna go enjoy my little airpods enjoy your airpods synthwave <laughs> yep because at the end of the day, it's all about what you like the most. I like you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for being my little guinea pig. Mm -hmm. I hope you had a good time. Yep. Bye, everybody. Oh, bye. <laughs> Dork. <laughs> and there we have it. That was fantastic. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure as heck did. Oh my gosh, what a what a delightful. What a delightful video this was put together. Um, Lady Marslander, of course, thank you so very, very much for giving us this wonderful, amazing content for this video. I love you very, very much. And all of you, thank you again so very, very much for all your support. 500 subscribers is nothing to scoff at. I am so excited. I am so thankful. And I'm looking forward to the next 500 and then some. So thank you very, very much. I sincerely appreciate you and i'll be seeing you again very soon <laughs>